So I get occasionally a couple questions in my comments, so I figured I'd just address a, a couple of them. One of the questions I get is, where are you from? Like, where am I from? So I'm from Brockton, <laughs> Brockton, Massachusetts. So Nyagintis from Brockton, stand up, give us a round of applause in the comments, okay? The most common question I get is, why do you have all flags? I put all three flags there because I'm representing all of them. My mom is from Cabo Verde, she's from Fogo, and my dad is from Haiti. He's from Old Cap, Haiti. Now, sometimes what I'll do is, depending on the content I'm doing, so if I'm doing something that's related to Cabo Verde, I'll put the Cape Verdean flag first, and if I'm doing something like that's related to like Haitian content, I'll put the Haitian flag first. But that's why I put the flags there. Another common question that I get is, what is this flag? So this flag is the Cape Verdean flag. In America, we say Cape Verde, but it's really Cabo Verde. And Cabo Verde is a country made up of 10 small islands off the west coast of Africa. Now, in the 15th century, don't quote me fully on that. I'm still learning as I go. In the 15th century, pretty much the Portuguese colonized Cabo Verde and use the islands for a trading post. So they would trade goods or slaves. So slaves will go through Cabo Verde. Other questions or comments I'll see is, you're not speaking Creole. So I am speaking Creole, I'm just speaking Cabo Verde Creole, also known as Creole. So as I mentioned, Portugal colonized Cabo Verde. So in result of that, the interactions between the enslaved Africans and the Portugal colonizers it pretty much created its own language, which today is known as Creole. Hence the blend of you hearing some similar words to Brazilian Portuguese or just Portuguese in general. You will hear certain words that sound similar to that language. Just like for Haiti, you'll hear some French words, but we have Haitian Creole. I do want to add a disclaimer in here though too. These are things I'm learning as I go. I'm not a historian, if that's how you that's what those people are who study the history of different countries and that's not what I'm doing this is just things I've researched on my journey to learn about both of my cultures you don't know what you don't know and I'm here to kind of give you a little insight and if you're interested just do more research another question I get who's Haitian within asking who's Haitian I'll get another question like why don't you speak Creole honestly my dad came up from that time where it was tough being a Haitian and he was in the army. So he didn't tell much people he was Haitian and he definitely wasn't speaking Creole. Not to justify any of his actions, but I've learned that there were a lot of Zoles around that time that just, they weren't very proud to be a Zole. I made the conscious decision that, you know, I've always said I was Cape Verdean and Haitian. I used to be ashamed only because I didn't speak Creole but I've never been ashamed to be Haitian. Okay, Nyagins, that pretty much summarizes our Q&A. This time around, if I have more or see more comments or questions, I'll make another video. It cannot do. <laughs> but yeah, um, you always have a bon dia. <laughs> so nice.